Mr. Clare here from Clare Maths. Today we're going to do a fractions masterclass for National 5 Maths, doing all the past paper questions that I could find that are relevant. But let's jump straight in. 2014, paper one, question one, evaluate 5 twelfths times 2 and 5 ninths. Main thing to remember is, if it's a mixed number, change it to a proper fraction first. So we've got 5 twelfths times... Well, we can do 2 times 9 is 18, plus an extra 2 is 20, 20 over 9. Now you've got two options at this point. You can either simplify now or simplify when you're finished. I'll do it when I'm finished because it's a little bit easier to see what's going on. So I'll do 5 times 20 is 100. That's the top. And then times in the bottom, 9 tens are 90, 9 twos is 18. So that gives me in total 108. And now we need to simplify. You may not be able to see exactly what goes into both of these, but we're both even, so we're going to start by dividing the top and bottom by 2. And that will give me 50 on the top and 54 on the bottom. Oh, they're still even. Keep going then. Divide by 2. And you'll get 25. And you'll get 27. And then you just check, is there any numbers that go into 25 and 27? There is not, so you're done there for two marks. 2015, paper one, question one was a takeaway one. Six and a fifth minus two and a third. Two ways to do this. You might change them both to improper fractions first, then take away, or you might directly just take away the whole number parts and the fractional parts. I'll do it by changing to improper fractions, because I find that if you do that for every question, you'll not make your mistakes. So I do 6 fives is 30 plus 1 is 31 over 5, minus 2 threes is 6 plus 1 is 7 thirds. <clears throat> Common denominator we need, easiest way to do that is just times them together. So we'll get 15. And then we can think of this as a cross, 3 times 31 is 93. 7 times 5 is 35. So we need a 93 minus 35. Well, 35 becomes 45, 55, 65, 75, 85. That's me on 50. Add another 8, get to get 93 over 15. 50 over 15. Might as well either simplify or change it back to a mixed number. I'm going to change it back to a mixed number because it was given to me a mixed number. 15, 30, 45 makes 3 with 13 left over, 3 and 13 fifteens, and we're done there. 2016, paper 1, question 2, evaluate 3 quarters bracket a third plus 2 sevenths. So bid mass comes into effect here, we need to do our add, and then times by the number outside. So the first thing I'm going to do is a third plus 2 sevenths. So again, common denominator, 3 times 7 is 21, and then you can think of this as 1 times 7 is 7, and 2 times 3 is plus 6. 7 and 6 make 13 out of 21, and you can't simplify that. So that's me done the bit inside the brackets, and I now need to times by 3 quarters. So step 2, 3 quarters times 13 over 21. Times the top, 3 times 13 is 39. Times the bottom, 4 times 21 is 4 ones are 4, and 4 twos are 8. 39 over 84. <coughs> it might not be immediately obvious that this is not simplified. Because that's um, an odd number and an even number. A nice little trick is, if you add the digits in a number, if it's a multiple by 3, they can be divided by 3. 3 plus 9 is 12, so I can divide that by 3. 8 plus 4 is also 12, so I can divide that by 3. So divide the top and bottom by 3. I get 13... 3 goes into 8 twice, with 2 left over, 3 8s is 24, I get 13 out of 28, and just check, is that simplified? Well, 13 is a prime number, it doesn't go into 28, so I'm done there. 2017, paper 1, question 3, 1 and 5 sixths divided by 3 quarters. This is with the magic of having just changing a mixed number to an improper fraction, if you do it the same every time, you'll not make a mistake, you can't actually do it without, unless... You're very good at maths. So 1 and 5, 6 becomes 1 times 6 plus 5 is 11 over 6 divided by 3 quarters. 
Dividing by a fraction is the same as times and by its reciprocal. What does that mean? We'll take three quarters and turn it upside down. So it's four thirds. 11 times four is 44. Six times three is 18. And again, I like to, you don't have to change this back to a mixed number. The other option is just to simplify your answer. But I'll change it back. 18, another 18 is 36. So that's me on two. 36 plus eight is 44. So eight out of 18. And then simplify my fraction to get a final answer dividing by two of four ninths. Two and four ninths is my final answer. 2018, paper one, question one was two and a third plus four fifths. Again, I'll stay consistent with this, even though you don't have to do this, and I will change everything to an improper fraction first. But for this, you agree we don't have to. So two times three is six plus one is seven. So I get seven thirds plus four fifths. Common denominator is 15. Seven times five is 35. 3 times 4 is 12. And notice I'm using that little cross just as a little helper to help me. 35 plus 12 is 47 over 15. Change it back then. 15, 30, 45. That's 3. 46, 47, 2 left over. 3 and 2 15s. Job done there. 2019, paper 1, question 2. 3 eighths times 1 and 5 sevenths. 3 eighths times 1 times 7 is 7 plus 5 is 12. So I'm going to do 12 over 7. 3 times 12 is 36. 8 times 7 is 56. They're both even, so I can divide by 2 at least. Dividing the top and bottom by 2. 18 over 28. We can divide by 2 again then to get nine over 14, and that's me done, that's simplified. 2022, just last year, paper one, question one, evaluate two fifths times one fifth plus three quarters. So again, bid mass brackets first. One fifth plus three quarters. Common denominator is 20. One times four is four, plus three times five is 15. 19 out of 20. So we've still got this two thirds to times by. So step two, two thirds times 19 over 20. Two times 19 is 38. Three times 20 is 60. And they're both even, so I can divide by two to simplify. A half of 38 is 19. And a half of 60 is 30. 19 is a prime number, it doesn't go into 30, so that's me simplified for my final mark. This has been Claire Mass. Today we've done a fractions masterclass for National 5, seeing all the types of questions that come up with add, subtract, times, and divide. Hopefully that was helpful for you. If so, give it a like and a thumbs up. Take care, stay safe, and goodbye.